नमस्कार वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सिस्टम टू एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेसिक प्रिंसिपल इन दैट केस द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी हैव डिस्कस दैट इज द पावर इन सिंगल फेज एसी सर्किट एंड देन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड आल्सो द कॉम्प्लेक्स पावर ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट रिमाइंड यू दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स पावर थिंग so we have uh, complex power is nothing but your voltage multiply by i conjugate and voltage is given by v that is rms value having the phase angle alpha if we represent this phasor form in exponential form it will be e raised to j alpha same for current i e raised to minus j beta here we have taken we have i conjugate that is why this angle beta will be minus j beta so after that we have got that your complex power in rectangular form can be represented by vi cos alpha minus beta plus j vi sin alpha minus beta now this first term vi cos alpha minus beta that we have already discussed in previous lecture and derived that this is nothing but your real power or active power and that is denoted as p and the unit of active power is nothing but kilowatt or megawatt okay the unit of p is watt only but uh, as far as power system concerned the watt unit is very small that is why we are dealing with in megawatt and kilowatt same the second term it is imaginary term j vi sin alpha minus beta and this term is nothing but your reactive power q and that is expressed in var okay the unit of reactive power is v so this s is nothing but your complex power which is uh, represented in complex form that is p real power plus j q so let me write it here s is equal to p plus j q okay so p is your uh, Uh, real term and q is your imaginary term now let me just uh, show you here this is a uh, complex power which is expressed in z plane so here you can see your active power p your reactive power q in uh, imaginary axis and after by adding this p and q we can have the value of s okay so s is nothing but vector addition of p and q okay here the notation might be some different we previously using some different notation but here we are using v only this v is a phasor i is also a phasor multiply by cos phi okay previously we are taking theta but theta and phi is all similar right here okay so active power p is equal to vi cos phi is in having such magnitude q is vi sin phi if you want to find s then Just add p and q, you will have s is equal to v multiplied by i. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the value of complex power, that is under root of p square plus q square. Here you can see the angle phi. So if you take the cosine of this angle, it will give you you power factor. And that is nothing but if you take cos phi, it will be cos phi is equal to p divided by so if you take cos phi then it will be active power p divided by your s and s is nothing but under root of p square plus q square that we have already discussed in last lecture so uh, this graphical method of obtaining the value of p q and the phase angle for several loads in parallel uh, since cos theta is nothing but p divided by s only so a power triangle can be drawn for a inductive load as shown in the figure so uh, let's say in case of uh, several loads is connected parallelly so total p will be the sum of average power of the individual loads and which should be plotted along the horizontal axis for graphical analysis for inductive load let's say the q will be drawn vertically upward since it is positive so 
the phase angle between voltage and current is also known as your power factor theta same way uh, you can also find out power factor using this particular equation okay now uh, let us just discuss about the direction of flow in a power system so as we were discussing the relation among your active power reactive power uh, the bus voltage or the generated voltage okay so generally we are uh, uh, noting the bus voltage as v but the generated voltage as e so whenever i saying bus voltage it means i am talking about capital v and whenever i say generated voltage in that case i am talking about capital e okay so the sign of power p and q is very important so when the flow of power in a system is considered the question involves the direction of flow of power and that is whether the power is being generated or it's being absorbed when a voltage and current is specified and now the question of delivering a power to a certain circuit and that is absorbing power from a circuit is rather obvious in a dc system so we are not talking about a dc system let us take an example of ac system so let us consider this figure right shown here okay so here you can see that a uh, system which is shown ac system within the box is having a ideal voltage source e that has constant magnitude so what does it means what is ideal voltage source so the voltage source that have constant magnitude constant frequency and zero impedance that is known as ideal voltage source so here it is shown with polarity marks to indicate uh, as usual the terminal which is positive during half cycle and uh, which is the positive instantaneous voltage similarly the arrow indicating the direction of current that is in forward direction into the box during the positive half of the cycle of current now the voltmeter shown in the figure has a current coil and a voltage coil correspondingly that is used to let's say the emitter am and the voltmeter vm to measure active power by the coils and it is correctly connected so as to obtain the upscale reading now by uh, definition we know that uh, if you want to find the apparent power or the complex power s it is nothing but the vi conjugate and that is p plus j q okay where p is vi cos theta and j q is vi sin theta where theta is nothing but the phase angle by which i lags v or the current lagging voltage hence if voltmeter reads upscale for the connection shown in the figure that is p is equal to vi cos theta is positive it means this term power p is real power is positive and it means that the real power is being absorbed by this ideal voltage source now if the voltmeter tries to deflect the down scale if it is reading in opposite direction to the previous one in that case the power active power p that is vi cos theta is negative and the reversing the connection of the current coil or voltage coil but not both on the same time it will cause the meter to read upscale and that indicates that the positive power is being supplied by the e inside the box that is your again ideal voltage source now in case of doing this if the voltmeter is replaced by a var meter to measure particular the reactive power okay so in general we can de uh, determine that p and q absorbed or supplied by an ac circuit simply by regarding the circuit enclosed in a bus which entering the current and having voltage polarity shown in the figure okay so uh, uh, here we can see that your current uh, direction of power will be easily found out using this four thing okay so in this figure you can see that the numerical value of real and imaginary part of product that is s is equal to p plus jq or you can also write as vi conjugate okay vi conjugate determines the uh, whether the active power and reactive power q absorbed 
or being supplied by enclosed circuit okay here we are talking about ac equivalent circuit or a circuit element so when the current i when the current i lags the voltage v by an angle theta and this value of theta is somewhere between 0 to 90 so we find that p is equal to vi cos theta and q is equal to vi sin theta both are positive and that indicates that uh, your active and reactive power are being absorbed by your inductive circuit now when i when your current i leads the voltage v it, when it leads voltage v by some degree and between 0 to 90 and still your value of p is positive okay but now theta and q will be negative and in that case it indicates that that negative bar is being absorbed or we can say the positive bar uh, var are being supplied by capacitive circuit inside the box okay so in short you can just uh, simply remember this if value of p is positive in that case your circuit this circuit is going to absorb real power if the value of p is negative in that case circuit supplies real power for reactive power if q is greater than zero so the circuit is going to absorb reactive power that is the first case okay this first case and here we are just uh, talking about second case that is your i is leading v in that case your reactive power will be negative and circuit will surprise reactive power okay so i think at this point it is very clear to you that uh, when the active power and reactive power uh, reactive power is going to absorb by the uh, circuit or uh, supplied by the circuit okay so thank you so much for um, today's lecture in the next lecture uh, we are talking about the voltage and current in case of a balanced three phase circuit so uh, also the star to delta transformation will be there how the phase voltage and line voltage are uh, related to each other and also in last part we are uh, part we are going to derive the power for three phase system okay thank you so much